Hi, I'm Ted with RL Detman, and I have another service tip of the month, why glycol systems and refilling them is more of a problem than you would think. So today I'm going to use this small hydronic system to show what glycol would look like going through lines. I'm going to have it going through the sight glasses, and I'm going to use um, some food coloring. We're going to be able to see what it looks like fully concentrated. Maybe this is a 40% blend of glycol. And then I'm going to slowly dilute it throughout the video and show you what happens and how much it can change. So I just turned the pump on, now we'll be able to see what that looks like clear. I haven't added the food coloring, so it's a pure water system. So here's the hydronic system. Now we've added the food coloring, which made it a dark orange. That stands for the glycol again. So we're going to be able to see what a few water changes and how easily that dilutes this, especially the smaller system but easy, easily dilutes a big system. Water changed down, you can see now. It's a light pink hue compared to that dark orange it was earlier. And that wasn't even a full system water change. So that just to show you that um, a, a few leaks over time or someone servicing the system or any other way that water's leaving the system and being replenished, you can see there's a huge difference of percentages of what that glycol is supposed to be to water. And now this system is just not operating the way it was designed. Did a couple of flushes after that last flush and you can see that the water is pretty clear. There's only a little bit of pink left in the water and that's, you really can't see that. So it just, just shows that you know you should always check your glycol percentages, try to get a, a test kit or get a professional come in and do it once a year if possible just because there's a huge difference and you are at a better risk of your pipes freezing and it's just not the way the system is designed. That was a short video on why it's best to make sure your glycol percentages are where they should be at.